Lighting control. We are going to see the most important parameters that you have available once you have registered the module at the EEDOMUS controller. At the top of the window, you will have the picture of the module that you have just registered. Next, you will have some available options. Some of them cannot be left blank. You will have to fill in them in order to the peripheral to work. Now, we are going to explain some of the configurations of each module and the lighting system that we are going to use in our digital home. These are the default values for some of the modules included. Module 3. Cubinal Flourish Dimmer. Name. Hallway Dimmer. Room. Hall and Lighting. Linked Channels. Hall Dimmer Consumption. Switch I2 and Switch I3. Not linked, temperature. Module 4. Cubino Controller Micro Module RGBW C Wave Plus. Name LED LED Strip. Room Corridor and Lighting. Linked Channels. Color Strip and Corridor LED. Module 5. LED Light Bulb. RGBW C-Wave Cipato Name RGBW Lamp for Classroom Room Classroom and Lighting Linked Channels Color Lamp RGB White Classroom Values of 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and on. Module 6 Cubino Wall switch C Wave Plus not on. Name Switch for scenes. Room scenes. Values. All 16 default values. Module 9. Multi sensor 6 in 1 C Wave Plus Generation 5 Aeon Labs. Name Movement and Classroom. Room Classroom and Presence. Linked channels, movement, temperature, lighting, humidity, and ultraviolet. Values. While in movement, it can be vibration and movement. Luminosity, lux, temperature, degrees Celsius. Linked channels for the Cubino Flash 2 relays modules. These peripherals have five linked channels. An off lamp. This is the default channel in which we are going to see all lamp controls. Lamp consumption on off. This will indicate the power consumption in this moment with the lamp connected to the module. The, mo the consumption will be given in watts. Relay number two consumption. This will indicate the instant consumption. Temperatures. This channel will allow us to read the temperatures with this module. In order to accomplish it, we will have to connect it to an external sensor. Channels linked to the Cubino Flash Dimmer. This module has five linked channels. Dimmer, in which we will have all the controls applied to the lamp. Dimmer consumption. This will show us the instant consumption. Switch I2 and I3. These channels will be used then, uh, after. It will allow us to read the switches to integrate them in the silk wave network. It can be used for the lamp control. Temperatures. This channel will allow us to read the temperature. This feature will not be used, so it will be deactivated. Channels linked to the Cubino Micro Module Controller. RGBW. This module has just two channels being uh, linked. LED strip. We will see all the controls applied to the LED strip according to the light level. Color for the LED strip. You can use RGB LED or RGBW. In our case, we were use uh, we are going to use an RGB LED strip with 24 volt power.
channels linked to the light bulb module LED RGBW C Wave C pattern. This module has just two channels linked RGBW lamp, default channel, color lamp. This will allow you to configure the color channel in which the lamp is lighting. It is RGBW, so we have a plus sign in white to configure it further. Configuring devices using C Wave parameters. Once we have fully finished including the module in the C Wave network, we are going to modify certain parameters for the device. For example, for the QNO Flash 2 relays in the C Wave parameters, you have the lamp on off. We are going to use push buttons instead of switches, so we will have to indicate it to the devices. In order to do that, we will press on the tab C Wave parameters. In the list box command classes, we are going to choose command class configuration. In command number, configuration set. In parameter number, 1. Input 1 switch type. Size will be 1 byte. In value, we will have to type 0. Value 1 is to work as a bi-stable flip-flop. In order to use it with switches, 0 is for work as a monostable, better for push button. At the bottom of the window, we will have a brief description of the value set. We can also place a comment to indicate any particular part of this configuration. Then we are going to click send. If the process was correctly performed, at the bottom of the window, the date and the result transmit complete OK will be set. In order to create this virtual peripheral, we will go to configuration, add or remove a device, and in the window we are going to select other types of peripherals. A window will appear with many peripherals. We will choose the first, theme, and a new window will appear where we are going to fill in all the data described in the previous steps. At the end, we will save all the data in the controller. At that moment, we will have at the room scenes a new peripheral that will allow us to control the lighting in the four different ways described before. Scene 1. Morning light. Image with two lamps lighting. Related actions. It will turn on all the lamps except the studio on-off lamp. The light in the LED strip will be apple. The RGBW will be green. The LED strip will be lighting with 70% power. In 2. Night light. Related actions. All lamps will be turned off, except for the LED strip in the corridor that will remain on for a minute and the dimmer at the entryway that will remain on for 3 minutes. Scene 3. Cinema light. This will set some of the lamps at 20% of their power. Scene 4. Turn off lighting. This will turn off all the lamps. Turning on a lamp automatically when a person is detected. In some cases, it is interesting that the lamps turn itself on when they detect someone. The lamp will turn on automatically and it will turn off after a certain period of time, 3 minutes in this case. Keep in mind too that the luminosity of the room, if it is above 500 luxes, will prevent the lamp from turning on. In order to accomplish this, we are going to create a new rule. We are going to call this new rule Turn on classroom light with movement and we are going to leave it on in the default group. In the field Allow Retriggering, we are going to choose whether you want the lamp to turn itself on again after 30 seconds. We are not going to set time criteria. In criteria, we are going to set two options. In order to create uh, the action, you will have to accomplish both criteria. This is a logical end operation. The first criteria will trigger the rule. 
in our case movement in classroom and once it is triggered it will measure the luminosity in the room we will choose the condition less than in order to look for any movement and if the luminosity is below 500 luxes it will execute the rule the action triggered will be turned on the lamp but it could be any other Programming for simulating presence with lighting Sometimes, when there is no one at home, it is interesting to simulate the presence of people. We are going to accomplish that with just the use of the lights. To do that, we are going to use the programming defined by EE Domus. In the illumination part, we see the button Present Simulation. If we click on it, we will see a brief description of its functionalities. We will fill it with the name, Simulating Presence, and we will do it in a room, Programming. Next, we will choose the lamps involved in the simulation. We also have to choose the timetable in which we want to simulate the presence. You can also set additional trigger criteria as additional actions. Time to sleep. You can set a timetable for the lights to inform us that it is time to go to bed, or maybe call it a day at your business. Turning down the lights intensity is a very effective way of informing that. The programming will keep in mind the day of the week, whether it is a weekday or a holiday. We will create a rule to accomplish this functionality. This rule will not exclude the activation of other rules. We will create a new rule called time to sleep. We will create the time criteria and in other criteria we will look for the rule to activate whether it is a weekday or a holiday or holidays. In that case the rule will not be activated. In the actions we will turn off all the on off lamps and the dimmers will be set at 50%. This rule will not have end time. It will finish when the other lighting rule will be activated. Priming a wake up alarm clock. It is possible to set the controller to wake you up using the lights. The most suitable scenario would be to turn on the lights and increase the power gradually. We are going to accomplish that using three lights that can vary their light intensity. We will keep in mind our time schedule programmed in the EE DOMS agenda. And we will execute the programming keeping in mind the time when we wake up. We will go to System Configuration, Programming and New Programming. We will choose the option Wake Up Clock and the name Wake Up Clock. We will set at the false room programmings. The duration of the turn on will be 10 minutes and the turn on phase will start when we wake up. 